Today's video, I just wanted to share with you how to check the voltage on your contactor. Here, obviously, this is going to be your disconnect. Your disconnect is going to be powered from your circuit breaker. So you should get 240 volts. If you remove this panel and check the back, you should have 240 volts coming from your line. Make sure you have your leads on your line coming in. And here we have a reading of 235 volts. Here at the bottom of the contactor, these are my lines coming in from my disconnect. You can see here the system is off and here I have a reading of 235 volts. The only time you should lose power to the bottom of this contactor is if your breaker's tripped or if I pull my disconnect. Here I remove my disconnect and now I lost my 240 volts. Here I'm going to put my disconnect back in. My leads back on the bottom of the contactor, voltage coming in, and here I have my voltage coming back in. Here I have my leads on the top of the contactor, and you can see here I do not have any voltage reading on my multimeter. The only time I should have a voltage reading is when my contactor is engaged. So here, when the contactor is in the off position, I should not have any voltage reading at the top. The only time I should have a voltage reading is when my thermostat calls for cooling. Once it gets a call for cooling through my low voltage wires, that would cause the contactor to turn on and then I would have 240 volts coming up top. The only second time that that would happen is if your contactor is stuck in the on position here you can see I have my leads on my low voltage side and right now I do not have any voltage reading. The reason that is because my thermostat is not on, it's in the off position. I'm going to go turn my thermostat on and then I should have a reading of 24 volts at my multimeter. So here I turn my thermostat on and now we're going to check our voltage reading on our contactor. See here I have my leads on the low voltage side of my contactor and now I have my voltage reading of 24 volts. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.